in our previous lab we set up a virtual host with system managed service identity enabled with contributor role on my subscription in this video i'm going to run a terraform code to test our configured virtual host to confirm it is working as per our expectations so let's start let us start by setting up the provider using managed identity as we are now using terraform version 14 so we have to configure the required providers inside the terraform block as we are using terraform version 14 so we have to configure the required block inside the terraform configuration block and the provider block with required field So in Terraform version 14, we no more declare the version of Azure RM inside the provider Azure RM block. We declare those fields in, uh, in the required provider block inside the Terraform block. And to set up the provider for managed identity, we have to declare use managed service identity as true. And we also have to pass the subscription ID and tenant ID to configure the provider for Azure RM. In this lab, I'm going to log on to virtual host deployed on Azure in part one. And then I will quickly install latest version of Terraform and then will deploy a simple Terraform configuration to deploy a resource group using managed service identity through the virtual host. So let's do the lab. So in this lab, we are going to use uh, Terraform version 14 and let me explain you the code and then we will start with the lab. So this is my backend provider and um, I'm using again a local backend. So I don't need to declare anything for backend wise and by default it will be a local backend used. The main thing as we are using Terraform version 14, we have to declare the source of the provider and the version of provider to use inside the required field, inside the required provider field and also declaring the required fields for use of managed identity. In my main code, I'm just running a simple code to deploy a resource group, which is going to be created by, I gave it name as created by managed ID. Here I'm passing the variables, which is my subscription ID and tenant ID. And these are the variables declared. So it's very simple to understand lab the only thing to take away is how to configure the provider if we need to use the manage identity so let's start with the lab here let me log on to the virtual machine using rdp That's my management VM. So I'm logging on to this virtual machine at the very first time. And let's see how it boots. So let's start by installing Terraform and then I will test the 
So let's start by installing the Terraform. So I'm copying the Terraform binary in this path so that it will be automatically included in the Terraform path environments. So let's copy the Terraform code and paste here. And let it do this thing. Take some time to copy the file because it's um, ATMB file and it depends on the speed of your broadband. So Terraform is installed now and let me run a uh, create a folder for my lab 7.8 and I will copy the code for lab 7.8. So these are the four files which we already declared uh, which I've already mentioned all these four files which is a simple code to deploy a resource group using managed identity provider. So let's run this lab and see how it goes. So let me initialize the Terraform configuration. And let's run the plan. And apply the config. So our code has been deployed successfully and it has created a new resource group which is named as created by managed ID. So let me check the portal and this is my dashboard and here I can see the resource group is deployed. This is a blank resource group but this resource group is deployed successfully. So this is how you can use the managed service identity in Terraform. So in this lab we learn how to use the managed service identity using Terraform. For more information I have created a complete course on Udemy covering the following topics in demand. Learn Terraform on Microsoft Azure Cloud. Comprehensive course on Terraform. Azure DevOps secret management in both Azure DevOps and in Terraform, release pipelines and CICD pipelines, all in one course. Please subscribe to my channel and for course information, link is given in the description. Thanks for watching.